Hey, welcome to our week five assignment video. This will be a very brief video, just walking through the two assignments that you have this week and uh, making sure you're familiar with all the things that you will be doing to apply the information from your readings and from our previous video to actually implement those in some practical types of assignments. So for week number five, you have a Prezi discussion board assignment. In this Prezi discussion board assignment, you will be using Prezi in order to prepare this discussion board video. And if you haven't used Prezi before, in the resources for this week, you will see that there's an instructional video on how to use Prezi. And it'll take you step by step through using that software program and show you how to put videos together using that type of a platform. But for this assignment, the way in which you'll prepare for this Prezi discussion board is you'll locate five sources that cover the topic of managing multiple generations in the workplace. Now, this is a topic that we alluded to last week. We talked about different types of generations and some of the different ways we have to motivate and deal with different generations within the workplace. So for this assignment, you'll be locating five sources that cover this topic of managing multiple generations. The sources can be news articles, news videos, instructional videos, journal articles, or best practices. So for this one, you don't have to use all peer-reviewed journal uh, articles. You can use news articles, videos. Uh, a lot of different things are available to you to use for those five sources. You will need to create a Prezi video account, and you'll uh, develop this Prezi video presentation. And in this presentation, after you set up your account, you'll need to make a presentation whereby you are in the video, but then you'll have graphic information that will come in and out of the screen behind you. So we kind of want to see you, but then we also want to see your graphics that are floating in and out, depending upon what you're talking about at that time. You can sign up for a free Prezi video account using your university email address. In terms of the presentation, the content of the presentation, you'll be developing a four to eight minute Prezi video that should contain the following. Number one, you'll present an overview of the information that you found in those five sources that you located. Number two, you'll then use the department in which you want to focus your final paper and identify two possible conflicts that might occur in the workplace and two recommendations on how to strengthen a multi-generational team. So we're going to try and uh, analyze these conflicts we can get dealing with different generations using the department that you are going to be creating for the final paper for this course. So you'll then develop your Prezi video and the video must contain the following. At least one segment with just you in the frame, at least one segment with you and your slides in the frame, and at least one segment with just the slide showing in the frame. So one segment with you, one segment with you and your slides, and then a third segment with just the slides showing. So most of the presentation can be of you and the slides next to you, but at some point you'll want to switch to show just the slide for a moment, and then another you want to switch to show just you for a moment. Um, so we're going to have all three of those approaches in the presentation. You can do it in any combination that fits your presentation style that is completely up to you. And then you'll be posting the link. Now, this will be a little bit different. You won't be embedding like you usually do with your videos and discussion board. For this one, you will just be posting the link. So post the link, do not embed your presentation into the discussion board by Saturday night. Problem is uh, Blackboard, sometimes the embedding of Prezi videos don't, this doesn't work well in Blackboard and it's difficult to actually get access to them. So for Prezi, we're just gonna be posting the link rather than embedding it. And then as always, you'll be responding to two of your classmates. Uh, in your response to classmates, you'll provide a comment on something you liked about their presentation and then you'll provide one ad uh, offer additional ideas to help them further explore options for their final paper. So that is your Prezi discussion board for this week. And then to introduce you to, if you haven't used it already, another program that you can use to create videos, uh, we have a screencast discussion board assignment as well. The suggestion is that you complete this assignment prior to completing the training video Record and embed a screencast-o-matic presentation. It should be approximately five to six minutes. Again, it's a presentation, but don't read the presentation. Be engaging in your presentation. Identify your, off, uh, your audience for your training video. Identify the topic you, you may want to use for the focus of the training, and then research ways to create the training session. So you'll prepare this assignment by identifying five topics covered in this week's chapter. So for example, 
uh, things like adult learning theories, relevance and transference of skills, mentoring programs. Then you'll locate journal articles, best practices, and or other videos on the topic. Um, for example, you know, how to create online training for employee procedures. Try to match the search closely to your training topic. So you'll be selecting five topics from the chapter, and then you will create a screencast-o-matic video. Provide a brief overview of each resource you found, and then include the following information. What topic is related to the resource? Briefly explain the concept in the chapter. Briefly explain how the concept was covered in the resource and briefly explain how it will help you develop your training video for next week. So you'll upload your video to YouTube or Vimeo or embed it directly from Screencast-O-Matic. Be sure to use the embed code from your source and not the link. So here for Screencast-O-Matic, we're gonna be doing the embedding with the source code as opposed to with Prezi where we are just uh, posting the link. Responses are due by Sunday, as always, at 11.59 p.m., and then you're required, as always, to respond to two of your other classmates. What did you like about the way they presented their information, and what resource did you find most helpful, and why? So a Prezi discussion board assignment, and then a screencast-o-matic discussion board assignment to give you some familiarity and to expose you to using those two different types of programs to present uh, informative types of videos and presentations. So those are your two assignments for this week. I hope this brief video helped. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, I look forward to viewing your presentations and reviewing your work. So take care, everyone.